Okie dokie. Here we go. Hey, good morning there, everyone. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rixby. <laughs> and think about that for just a minute. Hey, uh, it's so happy to be here with you on this. Uh, looks like it's a little overcast, maybe a little gloomy Tuesday, but hey, it's awesome right here. So glad that you are here as well and get that light in the right spot. Hey, if you would do me a favor, if you're watching on the live stream, do what Joe just did. Leave me a comment. Say hi. Let me know that you're here. If you're listening on your favorite podcast catcher, that is awesome as well. I appreciate that. Head over to Facebook as soon as you get a chance and drop me a comment in there and say hi. The easiest way to find it, just go to 7minutesinthemorning.com. All right. And uh, good morning to you as well, Abby. Let me get my... Other screen up and going here. I, you know, I should, probably I should have done this before I got started, but I did not. Alas, so now I have to. You have to deal with it while while uh, while I'm getting it going. So yesterday, I talked about being busy. If you are, um, if you have ever answered the question, "How have you been?" or "What are you doing?" or "What are you up to?" With, I'm well, I'm really busy. busy. You are. Then um, yesterday's show is for you. You should you check it out and uh, take a look question. at that because I talked about actually the damage that that answer can do to you. Um, as you are thinking about finding success. And so that kind of led to, I got kind of off on this topic yesterday a little side a little bunny trail there about success as a state i wanted to come back around to that and i was as i was preparing for that this morning i thought okay what's a question here's so here's the question right how can you tell if you are successful i'll give you just a second to think about that while i refresh the coffee <clears throat> how can you tell if you're successful when you if i were to ask you if we happen to be face to face and I were to ask you, you know, kind of like I'm doing right now, you can put your answer in the comments. That's okay. How would you know if you're successful? If I were to ask you, are, are you successful in what you're doing? How would you evaluate that? What criteria would you use to determine if you were successful or not? And so I'm going to give you one, but I'd be interested to, uh, hear what your responses are to that before. I unveil the answer that I am uh, proposing. So uh, if you're watching on the replay, you can pause the video. You have the advantage of doing that over the folks that are watching live. If you're watching live, hurry up and type. Because here is, here is what I believe the answer is. Are you happy? Now, we get these instructions indoctrinations we we learn we learn that um what society what culture tells us is successful is um big house fat bank account new car keeping up with the joneses that sort of thing right and and even so much I, i've said many many times we are each uniquely gifted talented in place to do work that matters to do the work that we were put here to do but we compromise on that and say, well, yeah, I know I'm a great artist, but that won't make me a lot of money. I'll be a doctor. And then you hate being a doctor. For example, right? We make that compromise. Why? Because we're chasing what we've been told is the definition of success. We each, this is important. We, you, you get to write your own definition of success. Each of us gets to have our own separate, different, mostly unrelated definition of success. And if we are achieving that, because we can, we can look, we can have good days and bad days. I love the baseball analogy for this, right? 162 games in a season. Are they going to win every game? No. 
even the team that wins the World Series doesn't win every ball game. So some days they are successful. They're in that success state. Some days they are in that unsuccessful. I won't call it a failure state, but the unsuccessful state. But at, at the end of the season, they can still be successful. They can have a successful season. So will every day be, will you be happy about what's going on every day? No. Will you be in that success state every day? No. But if you're in that success state more days than you are not, then you're going to wind up being successful. And being happy is a really good indicator. If you're working in your gifts and leveraging your talents, you're going to be happy. You're going to be doing work, the work you were made to do. It will inspire you, encourage you, energize you. You'll be happy. So being happy is a pretty good indicator that you're being successful. If you are unhappy more days than you're, than you're happy. You need to do something different. Steve Jobs is a great quote from Steve Jobs where he was talking about how every morning he gets up and looks in the mirror and says, am I excited about doing what I have to do today? And even he recognized that it won't be exciting every day because his answer was, if I say no more often than yes, I need to change. Right. Remember, if you want different results, you have to do things differently. If you keep doing the same thing you should expect to get, that's right, the same result. So question for you today, are you happy? Are you happy with, if you're building a business, are you happy with where the business is? If you are leading a business, are you happy with where that is? Now, there you can be, don't mistake being unhappy for, well, you know, what I call divine discontent, right? I, I can be, we have to be informed by the past, content in the present, and be filled with this divine discontent for the future. We have to be happy, satisfied, content with what we have. But we don't have to say, I don't want to improve tomorrow. I don't want to add a new customer. I don't want to grow the revenue. I don't want to get that promotion. That's the divine discontent for tomorrow, right? Are you happy? I think that's a pretty good question to determine whether you're successful. Hey, I got a couple of things coming up this week tomorrow. Well, today, later today, since it's Tuesday's the radio show, that'll be in about an hour. We'll be kicking that off. You can listen to that live over the air, WTKI uh, radio. <laughs> uh now I'm pressed to remember the numbers because we're changing. Uh, there's some frequency change going on there. 92.9, I believe it is. We'll try 92.9. You can also listen live on uh, line WTKI radio or go.com or go to uh, talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. All of those will get you the same show or you can watch. If you go to talkradioforentrepreneurs.com, you can watch just like you're watching here today. Uh, and then tomorrow, coffee shop show coming up from Old Town Coffee at 9 o'clock. So if you want, swing by and join us. We love to have that live cafe audience. All right. I'm going to wrap it up here for today. So that's your question. Are you happy? If you're not, and it's been lingering, you got to do something different. I'll be back again tomorrow with another brand new installment. Till then, you have a terrific Tuesday. Talk to you then.